Hello there, unfortunate audience. My name is Ontario. Welcome back to Half-Life 2. Last time, we went through the most boring and arduous chapter known to man. Zen 2.0, basically. It was painful and long, but the curse of the lighthouse has finally passed, and now we're in a really cool chapter inside the Combine base. And this is going to be one really, really, really long ride. So strap in, everybody, as we explore what exactly the Combine have going on down here. Giant architecture, huge fucking walls. Where did they go? Nobody knows. Ah, God, that actually hurts my eyes. <laughs> Am I in the sun? Jesus. Feels like I'm inside of a PC gaming PC. <laughs> that, that is literally what it is. I can't describe it better than inside the gaming PC. Like, look at this shit. You got the cables. You got whatever that's supposed to be. I love the atmosphere here, though. It's the one time the game feeling alien feels good. Yeah, look at that shit. What the fuck is that? Who the hell is that? Where are they going? Who knows? The thing you'll notice about this place is that it's huge. And whatever we're in, it's probably meant to be used for, you know, the same thing Eli was in. So, you know, prisoner. Kept prisoner here for all eternity. Look at this shit. This is terrifying. This is dystopian, alright? This is dystopian right here. That shadow. <laughs> that shadow ain't looking too good. I'm gonna be honest with you, Chief. That. Ugh, kinda weird, not gonna lie. Oh, there goes the Striders. It's all it's almost like you're in a Disney ride. Except the Disney ride is also an eternal prison. We just killed those things like 10 seconds ago. Pain in an ass to kill though. But actually, um, that roof part of the chapter last time took less time than it did before, which is weird because I remember it taking way too damn long. Oh, look at that. The combine are going somewhere. Not paying mind to us. You know, the dude in the bright fucking orange jumpsuit. Yeah, whatever. Who cares about him? <laughs> He's probably not important. He's already in jail. We get to see these gunships being made and repaired. Damn, bro. What the fuck are these things? They've got internal components! Ew, dude. They ain't got a penis, though. Is there a combine train? You know, if you want to go somewhere. Around. I don't fucking know, man. Listen, this isn't the Polar Express. You aren't gonna go to... You aren't gonna go visit Santa Claus or some shit. You'll probably visit some meth addict. I mean, this does look like the back alley of a fucking methamphetamine place, but whatever. Shit, this is a long ride. I'm not kidding when I say this is a long, long ride, but actually, we're it's over. Shit, well, damn. Let's get it started in here. Whoa. And the game is loading. That was quick. I'm trying to move. Don't. Don't take my weapons. No. No. Please. My car. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Looks like Zen came in handy one more time. We have now the super gravity gun, which instant kills any enemy in the game. Also allows you to pick up their corpses. Alright, this is when the game gets good. So, this is Dr. Freeman. At last. I wish I could say this was a pleasant surprise, but it's neither a surprise nor, as you will surely agree, very pleasant. Well, I am nothing if not pragmatic. Dr. Breen knows we're here. In fact, he can see us. Now that our super, now that our gravity gun is charged, it also helps us. Ow! Overcharge our fucking suit is what I was gonna say. The combine, um, uh, the combine, uh, I don't know what you call these energy things here, are a lot more powerful than anywhere else. Look at that, two hundred suit power. 
Honestly, bad fucking ass. Uh, and after the hell you go for in the last chapter, honestly, it makes the last chapter kind of more bearable, because you just went for hell and back, and now you get to enjoy the ride, baby. Fuck these combine bastards. Yeah! Yeah! Boom! 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 Yo, what's up? Well, Dr. Freeman, under other circumstances, I like to think we might have been able to work together in an atmosphere of mutual trust and respect. Certainly judging from your brief tenure at Black Mesa while I was its administrator, you showed every promise of becoming a valuable and productive contributor to the scientific process. And yet, I'm not sure what spurred you to it. But there is really no place in this enterprise for a rogue physicist. Acknowledge? My god damn PhD. <clears throat> Acknowledge it! Dr. Dean. Dr. Mr. Bean looking ass motherfucker. <sighs> Okay, goodbye. <laughs> um, I believe this is an elevator sequence. This entire area is just like a stand- No, this is the elevator place. Yeah, okay, let's go up. Nah, the elevator sequence is until later. Where the fuck are we? Oh, hi. We can now also pick up and throw combine energy balls. The most powerful weapon in the game as well, because it will also one-shot enemies. And it's a projectile, and it goes really far, so it's really cool. In case you were struggling, there's a recharge station over here. And they also power stuff around here, so... Hey. That's really cool, if I do say so myself. Goodbye! We're gonna have a lot of combine coming at us for a while, so... You know, use the combine energy ball to, like, you know... Deal with the situation. Dr. Breen want to say anything? Want to say anything, Dr. Breen? No? Don't want to acknowledge my PhD? You don't want to acknowledge it? Huh? Search a fucking right, asshole. When I find that Dr. Breen, I'm going to tell him off for acknowledging my PhD once and then not, never again, alright? I like to be acknowledged every now and again, alright? Listen, Gordon Freeman likes to know he has value. Your mentors are partly to blame. Of course, my disappointment in Eli Vance and Isaac Kleiner is far greater than my sorrow of your unfortunate choice of career path. In a way, I suppose you could not have done otherwise. Who knows what seeds of iconoclasm they planted when you were young and gullible, but while they certainly share a great part of the responsibility for the recent troubles, it is you alone who have chosen to act with such willful disregard for humanity's future. PhD. My PhD brain. My PhD brain. Acknowledge my PhD, Mr. Breen. Acknowledge it! Getting angry, Breen. You don't wanna, you're not gonna like me when I'm angry, Mr. Breen. You're not gonna like it. It ain't pretty, Mr. Breen. Acknowledge it, Mr. Breen. This is the elevator sequence I was talking about earlier. Ready to go up? Going up. What? Contact? Nah. Damn right, contact. You contacted me and now I'm contacting to you. Oh, let's check this out. Boom. What? Where am I getting shot from? Oh, hi. <laughs> You're dead. Goodbye. Oh, hi. Goodbye. Sweet. Everyone's dead. Can we go up now? You've been waiting for like an hour. Boom. Hold up. Hold up. The fuck out of here. <laughs> you can literally charge faster than they can kill you, which is fucking awesome. I love this part. This is power fantasy to the fucking max, but in this case it works because you've just been through hell. Yeah. Why you like that, you son of a bitch? Combine assholes. Take it. Take it like a man, shorty. What? Oh, look whose balls are coming back to bite them. What? Where am I being shot from? Where? Where? Oh, there. Excuse me. I can't see you. You mind You mind wearing orange jumpsuits like me? Bro, it's not fair if I'm the only one in the orange jumpsuit. Y'all motherfuckers blend into the environment. Goddamn. All right? Fucking blame me all you want, but you're the motherfuckers with the gray and white shirts. You know, for alien technology, this is surprisingly goddamn slow. Bye. 
Tell me, Dr. Freeman, if you can. You have destroyed so much. What is it exactly that you have created? Can you name even one thing? I thought not. <laughs> My PhD. Not being acknowledged makes me unhappy. You're asking for a brini when I came, when I get your peeny. Ah! The penis police are here! You can't have his dick! Gordon Freeman, stop it! You've been a very naughty boy. Gordon Freeman, you have to stop trying to steal people's penises. He won't acknowledge my PhD! I don't care! Stop stealing people's dicks! Oh, this is new. I guess we're going here now. I have laid the foundation for humanity's survival. And not as we have narrowly defined ourselves, but as something greater than we could ever imagine. Something we can now only begin to glimpse. Breen. My dirty PhD. Look at Mr. Breen. Not acknowledge me. Makes me very angry. Come on, get off angry. Look at Mr. Breen. Not acknowledge me. Make me very angry. Very, very fucking. Look at Mr. Breeze, not acknowledge me. Makes me very angry, now I'm getting angry. Look at Mr. Breeze, not acknowledge me. I'm very angry, it's money. Look at Mr. Breeze, not acknowledge me, now I'm very angry. Boom. 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 Lord, look at what you are throwing away. Is it worth it? You're lucky. That TV screen cannot be broken. <laughs> because I definitely would have broken it. Mr. Breen! It's not even fucking TV. Get out, get out, get out. I know what happened. The combine bow went back inside as soon as I entered it and it instant fucking killed me. That is bullshit. That is, the chances of that shit happening are so fucking astronomically low that I have to imagine I'm the only motherfucker who's ever died to the barrier. The fucking barrier of all things. God damn. Anyways, now we've entered the final train ride. There's nowhere left to go. But up. So let's go up, shall we? Up. Up. To the place where we're gonna have to talk to Mr. Breen. Where Mr. Breen's finally gonna have to acknowledge. I swear, man, these crackheads. <laughs> oh, man, I miss seeing you, crackheads. Yo, what's up, Derry? Wait, no, that's not Derry. Yo, Derry ain't here? Shit, man, I'm alone. Kinda makes you think. Yeah, I'm here. What? Hey, yo, yeah, take a video. It'll last even longer than a picture, buddy. Fucking asshole. I get it, I'm popular, but goddamn. <laughs> not the time. Jesus. You know, not all celebrities like being their pictures taken. This right here is my favorite fucking visual of all time. Just look at this shit. We're slowly climbing to the top of the Combine Tower. Cables everywhere, massive strewns of it. We are so high up that we can't see the floor. Well, we can see the floor, but we can't see. It's getting foggier. I don't even know what story we're on now. And now, as the windows appear, we can see just how high up we are. We can't even see the buildings below us. And we're going even higher. Higher and higher. And higher so fucking unbelievably high but by the time we get up we can't see the people down below look at that they're all just like little lights we're like at atmospheric levels we're above the clouds for crying out loud look at this shit look at this shit it's beautiful I love that segment Oh, it makes for such a good set piece for the final area. Ah, I fucking love it. Ah, uh, the last few minutes of this game are gonna be mainly cutscenes, though, so I'm gonna be quiet for the rest of it. So, I guess I'll just let you enjoy the finale of Half-Life 2. Gentlemen, I believe you have my penis. Oh, no, that's mine. No, don't. I was gonna rip his dick off with that. No, it's you. I'll take him from here. Don't struggle, it's no use. 
Until you're where he wants you, there's nothing you can do. I'm sorry, Gordon. Your ass says otherwise. It's it's saying please fuck me. <laughs> Gordon Freeman, for the love of God, it's the finale. Have some class. Meteorological intelligences, worlds stretched thin across the membranes where the dimensions intersect. Impossible to describe with our limited vocabulary. What I've seen is also beyond words, Breen. Genocide, indescribable evil. Good God. Well, if it isn't Gordon Freeman at last. What's this? I'll put it over there. You have my gratitude, Doctor. First you lead me straight to the doorstep of my oldest friend. And then you deliver yourself? If I'd known you were going to come straight up to my office, I wouldn't have bothered hunting you in the first place. Having both of you in my keeping ensures I can dictate the terms of any bargain I care to make with a combine. <laughs> Dr. Breen. Huh. Wallace. Yes, Judith, what is it? The bargain we should be making is for Eli's life so he can continue his research. Thanks to you, we have everything we need in that regard. You're more than qualified to finish his research yourself. What neither you nor I can do is convince that rabble in the streets to give up their senseless struggle. Yet Eli refuses to speak the words that would save them all. Save them? For what? Eli. If you won't do the right thing for the good of all people, maybe you'll do it for one of them. Alex, honey... Dad. Gordon? No. God damn you, Breen, you let her go. That's all up to you, my old friend. Will you let your stubborn short-sightedness doom the entire species, or will you give your child the chance her mother never had? <laughs> How dare you even mention her? Alex, my dear, you have your mother's eyes, but your father's stubborn nature. You haven't seen a bit of it yet. Really? Well, let's see how well it serves you on the far side of a combined portal. Go ahead, Bree. <laughs> if that's the worst you can do, send us both through your portal. <sighs> oh, it's hardly the worst. But you might find that hard to believe once you get there. It isn't necessary. I agree. It's a total waste. Fortunately, the Resistance has shown it is willing to accept a new leader. And this one has proven to be a fine pawn for those who control him. No! Don't listen to him, Gordon! How about it, Dr. Freeman? Did you realize your contract was open to the highest bidder? Gordon would never make any kind of deal with you. I understand if you don't wish to discuss this in front of your friends. I'll send them on their way, and then we can talk openly. Don't struggle, honey. Dad, I'm so sorry. Alex, see Judith, what do you think you're doing? We're doing what I could never do alone. We're stopping you. Yes. Guards, get in here. They know you betrayed them. They'll turn on you. Judith, Dr. Mossman, please. I'm sorry, Wallace. You're all out of time. Don't... Hang on! You fool! Watch out, he's gonna- No! No, oh, fuck! Ow! Jesus. Dad! No, no, no. Don't worry about me, honey. There's no time, Alex. He's on his way to the portal. You'll need this. Dr. Mossman, Judith, look after my father. Don't you worry. Dad, I'm not saying goodbye. Never. Come on, Gordon. Let's go. Please, I am so done with Dr. Breen. Gordon, we haven't known each other very long, but... I know you didn't have to do this. I had to rescue my father, but you... Well... Thanks for coming after me. It's me you should be concerned. Hey, listen. I can still deliver That's her, him. But not without your help. The portal destination is untenable. Surely you can set the relay elsewhere. 
There's no way I can survive in that environment. A host body? You must be joking. I can't possibly... Yeah, he is. Oh, all right. Damn it, if that's what it takes. Just hurry. He's right behind Yo, what's up? Where's my PhD recognition at? Oh, shit. Motherfucker. Damn it! Not again! Gun. <laughs> he doesn't he's kind of stupid. He doesn't have a PhD. I wonder where he's going. That's where not having a PhD gets you, Doctor. Oh my God! This is the Citadel's dark fusion reactor. It powers their tunneling entanglement device. We'll never have a chance like this again. We've got to stop Doctor Breen. I can't shut it down. Looks like he's turned over control to the other side. You'll have to go into the core and do what you can. Get in the elevator and I'll let you in. All right. Don't forget to charge. All me. charged. Do your worst, Gordon. I'm going to die. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. The final stretch of the game. Can we beat it? Under 25 minutes? No, but let's try anyways. This is the finale. Dr. Breen has refused to acknowledge my PhD for the last fucking time. Dr. Breen, there he is. Dr. Freeman, you really shouldn't be out there. At the moment of synapse, as I teleport, this chamber will be bathed in deadly particles that have yet to be named by human science. Perhaps when I have the leisure to do the work myself, I'll name one of them after you. That way you won't be completely forgotten. When the singularity collapses, I will be far away from here, in another universe as a matter of fact. You, on the other hand, will be destroyed in every way it is possible to be destroyed, and even in some which are essentially impossible. That's the bet you want to make, Dr. Breen? Fine. Let's fucking put it to the test, jackass. Fucking shame. Don't acknowledge my PhD once. Shame on me. Don't acknowledge it twice. Shame on you. Don't acknowledge it for the past fifth. Uh. Once again, I get killed by random bullshit. I'm going to kill you, Dr. Breen. I'm going to grab your scroat and steal it. You know I am famous for this, Dr. Breen. Nah, bitch, you get your own. But now, we have to destroy the core that Dr. Breen's using to teleport to other worlds. How do we do that? We're Gordon fucking Freeman. Let the level design take you to how you're supposed to destroy it, mate. Great. Oh, no, Breen, <laughs> Ain't gonna be ascending for much longer. I'm going, Alex. Jeez. But yeah, um, this is the final set piece. Honestly, badass. We are at the top of the fucking world, and we have got to stop... One very angry midget from... Shut up, Alex. From um, essentially teleporting himself to the end of time or some shit. And if we fail, we die. Go, Gordon, go! Run, Gordon, run! Oh, shut it up already, alright? I get it, you'll never acknowledge my PhD. That's how you want to be, Dr. Breen. That's how you want to be. I have perfectly a good idea what I'm doing. This is the last time you'll never not acknowledge my Pete's fucking D. I don't give a shit. Oops. Time, Dr. Freeman? Is it really that time again? It seems as if you only just arrived. You've done a great deal in a small time span. 
You've done so well, in fact, that I've received some interesting offers for your services. Ordinarily, I wouldn't contemplate them, but these are extraordinary times. Hmm? <laughs> Rather than offer you the illusion of free choice, I will take the liberty of choosing for you. If and when your time comes round again. I do apologize for what must seem to you an arbitrary imposition, Dr. Freeman. I trust it will all make sense to you in the course of... Well, I'm really not at liberty to say. In the meantime, this is where I get off. And thus concludes Half-Life 2. Honestly, the, a good game. Really fucking good game. And that final set piece, I absolutely love. Every time you finish that second to last chapter, you've just been through shit, this is the one that makes the game all worth it again. Ah, oh, goddamn, that is an awesome final speech. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. This has been Half-Life 2. Uh, is it better than the original? Eh, in some ways yes, in some ways no. Technically speaking, it's better looking. Um, the combat is technically more advanced since they can shoot and run at this time. The AI is not as impressive as you'd think. They, they get stuck on you constantly. The, at least in Half-Life 1, they die before you can you can kill them so they don't get in your way. But you can't even do that in this game. But, um, I, uh, Half-Life 1 is more replayable in my eyes because, well... If you know how to skip the entire game, you know how to skip the entire game. You don't have to play on a rail, man. <laughs> you can you don't on the rail is an optional chapter in the game. Uh in terms of um music, uh this one definitely uh, does it beat out the original? I can't say no. There I mean like, the original game brought the Valve theme. It was the one that made the Valve theme, and this one had some really good techno tracks but they just don't last not to mention valve's programming you what you go for a loading zone that's it that's the end of the song y y no more song for you i don't know why that's a thing <laughs> oh and the settings are the same as the last games too so yeah all the complaints that i've ever had there that i've mentioned way earlier are there again but uh in terms of voice acting story shit and all that this game definitely beats out the original all right the, the original had severe problems with voice acting, volume levels, and balancing. This one definitely does a better job at it. I'd still like the option, but it does a better job. And, um, it's nice to see, uh, what, what was his name? Fuck. The, the G-Man again, you know? It's nice to see him again. Um, but, ah, man, some of the chapters in this one, I, I gotta say, ah, not, not my favorite. But, I don't hate this game. I love it, and that is it. All in all, a great game. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next adventure, whatever it may be.